Hey guys, welcome back to Blender Hair Series Episode 8. Today we're covering another node group that will help us control the hair better and get interesting effects. Today we're going to cover uh, a noise control to get um, sort of frizzy or noisy hair. So let's get into it after the intro. So last time we covered setting up the uh, radius and we set up a node group so we can easily export it. Uh, today we want to cover how to create a new effect on top of this. So like I said, I don't like to control hair with uh, multiple in, in one section. I like to have multiple uh, modifiers. So I'm going to have a new node added called noise noisiness. And I'm going to add a new geometry node and I'm gonna call that noisiness YouTube as well. What we're going to do is we're going to try to add noisiness to this hair. Okay. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a couple of tricks. So first of all, there is a node. There's a texture here called uh, noise texture. And if you see this, you can put it in here, but there's no way to sort of control to add a geometry to this. There's no green input or output. So this is sort of an, uh, a node that sort of affects the geometry in some other way. In this particular case, what we want to do is we want to add some noisiness to this and we're trying to add sort of jitter across all the hairs randomly. So basically we want to apply this noise texture across the entire each strand. So the way we can do that is we can actually use a node called set position. So right now you take the geometry and you do some effects on this and then you can output it this way. So you can either, either put in a position which will set the current position to whatever that position is or you can offset it from its current position. So if I offset the X coordinate, you can see I'm, I'm literally moving it to the side this way. So what we want to do is we want to sort of set and, and remember when I offset this X value, we're actually offsetting every piece of this hair. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So what happens if I was to sort of set up a noise texture into the offset? Immediately it gets really messed up and it goes into this corner. Why is that? Well, the nature of noise is that it's sort of offsetting sort of from zero to one. Okay, and we need to kind of bring that to minus five, minus 0.5 to 0.5 to sort of bring it back to sort of the correct spot. So we can use a math node for this. Now keep in mind, I, I plugged in this color value because the color value is three points and this purple thing means it needs a vector okay and the color is also technical it's not a vector but it's it can be plugged into a vector because it has three values so what i'm doing is i'm going to add a math node but not a normal math node a vector math node because vector math is different okay and i'm going to add and to this vector i'm going to subtract 0 0.5 Okay, and when I do that, it immediately sort of pushes the hair back into the correct spot. Okay, this works. Okay, but the problem is it looks weird. Okay, so I'm also going to add real quick while we're figuring this out, I'm going to add another node called a resample curve. Okay, I'm going to add this because I want to be able to sort of increase the resolution of this curve so it'll sort of affect how much. How, how effective this noise is so you can see that you know you can see it's getting more and more detailed and this noise is also really extreme right now it's, it's way too much for the sort of size of the hair okay so maybe we'll bring it down a notch okay you can you can see that it's literally got disconnected uh the, the head okay so maybe, maybe we'll bring this back up and we'll scale this a bit okay so the, i feel like the effect is too strong and there's an easy way to do this and we can just duplicate this uh, vector node and we're going to use a option called scale and scale will allow us to sort of control the effect a bit more okay so if we bring the scale down to zero okay the effect is zero and then if we scale up the effect we get more and more noisy but the noise I think the scale of the noise is too high, uh, too low. So we need a much higher scale in order for the effect to be actually noisy. So we'll bring this scale down a bit. Okay. So you can now, now you can see what's happening. If I were to bring this up a bit, now it starts to look much more messy. Okay. And we can control other factors like the detail or the roughness, um, even the distortion. And different different factors are controllable. 
be so desired okay and i'd like to make sure while we're here i'd just like to make sure that all of these factors are within our control well, outside of the node group so i'm just going to quickly plug in everything here okay and if i was you i would go in and i would uh, sort of adjust the min max levels to something that sounds reasonable for every value i'll just test and see okay this this scale is reasonable and this scale is not and so on. i just put a sort of range so that in case i change the character and it doesn't match i can just adjust it that's sort of a trial and error thing but i like to have this control outside of the uh, node group node uh, graph um, the scale here is another factor we'd like to control from this input so let's put this in here as well on the scale controls like how much noise is being applied and this one let's just uh make it a, a zero min one max kind of thing okay so scale zero and then we increase it and we can just go crazy if we want to but i'm just gonna keep it pretty low okay just a little bit of noise just a bit just a bit there we go cool but there's still there's still some problems with this now if you know you may not notice this exactly but what happens is the ends of the hair sometimes disconnect from the skull we don't want this we want to sort of adjust this so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use another trick which i learned which is to use another set position and this time what we're going to do is we're going to use a couple of notes so first of all um make sure that we only select the beginning point so how do we do that we have there's a selection node here that'll tell us to set the position only of what's whatever we select and there's a handy node called endpoint selection okay in the curve menu curve endpoint selection this handy node will allow us to select the uh end size i think the start size and the end size okay so i think this is the correct one yeah okay just checking so if you set the start size to one it'll select only the first point if you set the start size to two it'll select the first and second point if you select the end size it'll select the end of the hair upwards okay so that's how the endpoint selection works and this allows us to make edits only to the uh the first um, point so what we're going to do now is we're going to use a um another trick which is to select the body and drag it in here okay uh, the body object there we go okay if you select this body object and drag it in here what you're doing is you're adding an object info node you can also press shift type uh, object info add it here use this dropper and just select this that works too uh, but we want the object info to be set up this way okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to sort of set the position of uh, this piece to the closest position on the head okay so for that we need something called a proximity geometry proximity so what we're going to say is the target is basically this object is the target and we're going to say the pos the closest position to the to these hairs is this do you see that what happened okay you can see some of these end hairs they will immediately jump and fix back into the skull they'll come to the closest position of the skull and this will make sure that even though you increase the scale of this particular effect the endpoints always stick to the skull okay and we can also increase the resolution to sort of make it make sense again okay, oh I, I would also like to control the resolution so i'll add that as well okay and this will allow us to basically noise up the hand usually it makes a lot more sense to have a much more subtler effect okay but you can have as strong an effect as you want this is really effective to sort of control different types of hairstyles so this is a pretty powerful effect okay so if you want it to have like roughness or noisiness you can add this cool so that's it uh, that's it for this episode and we'll cover another geometry node effect in the next episode okay so thank you very much for joining and watching this video and i hope that it helped and we'll cover more other effects as well okay so um see you soon bye guys